hey what is up guys hope you all are doing well this is Tito back with another video and this is not a custom ROM video or a review or something like that today in this video I'm just going to show you how to take a screenshot or just record your screen on your phone or your PC so without further ado let's make it happen Well, first of all, let me tell you that most of you guys should know this stuff already. But if you are someone who doesn't know this, this video is for you. So for phones, it's right now pretty simple. If you have a Xiaomi phone, you can just swipe three fingers and it will take a screenshot like this. Or what you can do is you can just press the volume down and the power button together like this. And it will take a screenshot like this. But for PC, you have to do this. Let's assume that you want to screenshot this screen over here. Now head on over to your keyboard and hit this print screen button once. Now if you want to save that file as a JPEG or PNG, then open paint. Now go to your keyboard again and press Ctrl and V together to paste that image and it's done. Now you can crop and save it as you like. Note that you can directly send this to a friend in WhatsApp or Messenger by pressing Ctrl V together in that text or wherever you like. And if you want to screen record on your phone, that's pretty simple too. If you have a Xiaomi device like this, you should see an app called Screen Recorder inside Tools folder. Over here you have the settings, you can set the resolution and FPS etc and just hit this red record button on the bottom right corner and it will show you an overlay button. You can just start or stop recording from there. But if you have a stock android phone, you can just download an app called AZ screen recorder from play store. Let me download it first. First, it will show you like this as it needs permission. Now tap on grant permission. Now as you can see, it actually has all the permissions already. Just disable and re-enable draw over the apps and modify system settings. Then force stop it. Once done, go back, now hit open again and boom you have it up and running here are the settings again you can set the resolution enable show touches control the frames per second and a hell lot more settings over here once you are done with the settings simply just tap on this overlay button hit this record button and tap start now after the countdown, it just starts recording the screen. Whatever you do is now being recorded. Once you are done with the recording, you can just play it back or delete it or send it to someone. But if you want to record the screen of your PC, how do you do that? Let me show you. For this, I will recommend you using OBS Studio. This is a totally free software and a very good software to record your PC or laptop screen and I personally use this one. So download it first from the description box below. After you have done that, just install it normally and here is how the software interface looks like. And from source panel, you can choose what to record. And yes, you can record your gameplays with this game capture mode and website etc. So let me show you the settings now. From output settings, you can set bitrate. Encoder depends on if you have a GPU or not. 
If you have a GPU then select hardware. I don't have one so I selected software and we have the recording path, recording quality set to same as stream and recording format to mp4. And in video settings we have the resolution set to 1600 by 900 because it's my monitor's native resolution. You can change the resolution to 720p or 1080p or however you like. But make sure both the base and output resolution are same. And if you select 1080p and if your PC configuration isn't that good, then the footage might lag a little bit. So that's that. So do not choose 1080p, just keep it as your monitor's native resolution. Downscale filter set to length shows. I don't know how to spell it. And you can select the frames per second as you like 30, 60 or whatever. I am recording the screen already so I can't show you these settings. And you can even set stream settings if you want that. You can directly go live in Twitch or YouTube. This is what totally most gamers use. There you have it. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you love my work and if you want more videos in PC and stuff like that. And if you want more videos in custom ROMs, just subscribe to the channel right here. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video with your friends if you want them to know this stuff. So thank you so much for watching guys. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.